Welcome to the EWTN Religious Catalog. This program features Mother Angelica with some of her favorite holy reminders. Good books, rosaries, beautiful art, statues, and crucifixes, all designed to enrich our spiritual lives. There are also many other special items for your consideration. To order, call our toll-free number 24 hours a day at 1-800-854-6316 or visit www.ewtnreligiouscatalog.com. We accept Visa, MasterCard, American Express, and Discover. We also accept money orders and personal checks in U.S. dollars. And now here is Mother Angelica. Well, welcome to our Religious Catalog Show. <clears throat> and don't forget that this is a service, huh? and it cannot replace your donation to EWTN. Now, I want you th to think of giving gifts this year that, that last and have special meaning for those who receive them. And that's a beautiful picture called God bless our home. It's kind of ornate gold wood right here. It's golden wood. And it's about 12 by 10. You know, there are 12 promises that our Lord made and revealed to St. Margaret Mary right here. And some of these promises of our Lord uh, to all of us, and they were, or they are, to St. Margaret Mary, she, he said, I will establish peace in their houses. So anyone that has this particular picture in their house, he will establish peace. Then he said, I will comfort them in all their afflictions. Lukewarm souls will grow fervent. And I will bless every place where a picture of my heart shall be set up and honored. And this picture now would be a wonderful gift. Just imagine the kind of gift you're giving to someone when you give them that picture. Be nice for newlyweds in homes that are having a lot of problems. So another thing that'd be nice for your homes is this. Now this you don't wear. <laughs> I mean, you'd be, oh, you'd be hanging down if you did. This is a big medal. It's called the St. Benedict Door Seal. And it's made of pewter. You know, the power of St. Benedict is revealed in this medal that has been worn by, smaller of course, by his followers and by a lot of people. It's called the St. Benedict Medal. It's a wonderful aid. Put it at your end your house, the back of your house, or the front. And it, it's really, if you, you have a small one, you can wear it. But this one is for your house. And you know, St. Benedict had a profound veneration for the Holy Cross and our crucified Jesus. So in virtue of the sign of the cross, he made and performed tremendous miracles and exercised great power over the spirits of darkness. Really, he was great. Now, in, the, in Latin, in this medal, it says, May his presence protect us in the hour of death. So this is wonderful, wonderful to put or make as a gift at the entrance of your house or the back of your house. This one now is a crucifix. That's pretty obvious. You can put this on the wall, and it has the same symbol, uh, of the cross and St. Benedict. See, it's the same as this one, except, of course, this is a smaller metal. And the crucifix. The crucifix is so important in your heart, especially today. Oh, you just don't know what's going to happen. It, it, it says to everybody that comes in your house, I believe in Christ, Son of the Most High God came in our midst, 
lived and died for me. And on the face of this little medal here is the image of St. Benedict. There he is right here. And the cross, which is the symbol of salvation. In his right hand, uh, he has the rule of St. Benedict. And <coughs> on a pedestal to the right of St. Benedict is that poison cup. <coughs> you know, it's hard to understand why anybody would like the poison St. Benedict. Well, I think what happened is he just told it like it is. And they didn't like it at all. Now, I don't no think they haven't changed that much, have they, huh? Now, here is a standing crucifix. And it has, this is nice for your office or put on top of your fireplace or a stand or next to the sofa, huh? It's four inches by eight inches. And it's the same metal. See, here's the metal here, and here's the metal here, and here's the crucifix. And it's beautiful, made out of stained ash wood. You probably have never seen ash wood. And the crucifix and the metal is made of pewter. Now, guess what we got? We have night lights. But these are very good for a ch child's room. Sometimes they're a little afraid of the dark, and even for yourself. Now, the Good Shepherd night light is right here. And that depicts Jesus carrying a lamb. And there are other sheep right in here. And here's a little wood, like a stable. And this type of art was first invented where? In France. And this uh, light is called lithophane, meaning the vision in stone. It's really porcelain engraved with translucent and, and a look, translucent look. It really comes to life. When you get up in the middle of the night, you know, you don't want to stumble and break a toe because you didn't, couldn't see. These are very nice, and they give you a lot of light. Now, this one here, that you're seeing. You remember the old picture of the big angel guiding a little boy and girl across a bridge? Do you remember that? Well, that's what that is. It's a color. It's in color. The other two are not in color, but that guardian angel with looking over the two children, it's a classic picture of the guardian angel on the bridge. The image is created by the light shining through many different layers of thickness of porcelain. Then you get the real image. The thicker areas appear darker, see? And the lighter areas appear brighter. So all of this is porcelain and done by hand. So you might save yourself a broken toe or something else if you don't have light in the house. So I get a couple of these. Well, I'm going late, so here's Doug, and he's going to recap everything I've spoken to you about in this program and how you can go back ordering it. And then I'll be back in just a minute. Thanks, Mother. But first, here's Barbara with some new items for our consideration. Many of us display nativity sets in our parishes and homes, but where did this tradition originate? In 1223, St. Francis of Assisi created the first living nativity because he wanted to remind people how Jesus came into the world. Although he is more powerful than any other king, our Lord Jesus chose to come into the world in humility rather than grandeur so that we might not be afraid to approach him. Images of the Christ child, such as those found in nativity scenes, help us counteract the secularization of Christmas by reminding us of the true reason we celebrate this joyous season. Today, we have some beautiful items to prepare your home for Advent and the glorious celebration of Christmas. First, we have this very special wood look eight piece nativity. The nativity is made of resin, but looks like hand carved wood. 
It contains the Holy Family, the three wise men, a shepherd girl holding a lamb, and an angel holding a banner that reads Gloria. All of the pieces fit on the 11 and a quarter inch by 17 and a half inch oval wood look base. The tallest figure measures 11 and a half inches tall. This Fontanini nativity set would also make a wonderful addition to your home this Christmas. It features 10 intricately detailed pieces. The baby Jesus is separate from the crib, so it is easy to put him in the manger on Christmas Eve. The handcrafted stable measures 17 inches by 11 and a half inches by eight and a quarter inches, and the tallest figure measures five inches. Each of the pieces in this flat nativity three-piece set is slightly arched, suggesting the shape of a cathedral window. The centerpiece features an image of the Holy Family and measures 10 and a half inches high. One side shows a shepherd and an angel, and in the other, we see the three kings. These resin ornaments measure three and a half inches to four inches and look like rustic wood carvings. Each is inscribed with one word to help us remember the true meaning of this festive season. The cross carved ornament is engraved with the word believe. And here we have the dove carved ornament with the word peace. The heart ornament is engraved with the word love, and the star features the word hope. It seems like preparations for Christmas get busier and busier each year, but during Advent, it is especially important to take time to think about why we are so busy. One of the ways we can take a break from the hustle and bustle and refocus our minds on Jesus coming at Christmas is by concentrating on an activity like this Old World Nativity 1000 piece puzzle. Puzzles are a great family activity. The beautiful image that forms when this one is completed was originally painted by Juan Batista Meno. It measures 20 inches by 27 inches when completed. Spiritual reading is another way to redirect our attention. These next items are wonderful companions for this holy season. This is Advent and Christmas with Fulton J. Sheen. Judy Bauer edited and compiled these selections from Archbishop Sheen's writings. Beginning with the first day of Advent and continuing through the 12 days of Christmas, the daily passages offer practical spirituality. And here is Advent and Christmas with St. Thomas Aquinas, compiled by Andrew Carl Wisdom. St. Thomas Aquinas desired but one thing in life, an intimate and dynamic relationship with God. Selections from this great saint's writings and scripture passages will guide you in daily meditation and prayer as you prepare for the joyful birth of our Lord Jesus Christ this Christmas. Each day's selection ends with a suggested action to help you put the spiritual direction of St. Thomas into practice throughout the whole Advent season. Next, we have the Best Loved Christmas Carols boxed set. Have you ever wondered how your favorite Christmas carols came to be? Find out with this book. Ronald Clancy offers a historic perspective on the development of carols since the 13th century with fascinating facts about each carol. His writing is complemented by rich illustrations from world-class museums. The set includes the book, a CD with 25 carols performed by world-renowned choirs and orchestras, and a bonus songbook. Next, we have a musical collection to uplift your spirit. In this A Night to Remember CD, 
Mary Ann LaHood sings 18 beautiful traditional hymns, including Starlight Glow Softly, O Holy Night, A Night to Remember, O Little Town of Bethlehem, Angels We Have Heard on High, O Come, Emmanuel, Away in a Manger, It Came Upon the Midnight Clear, Silent Night, O Come All Ye Faithful, Ave Maria, and the Lord's Prayer. Pope Benedict XVI has said that music is capable of opening minds and hearts to the dimension of the spirit and of leading persons to raise their gaze on high, to open to absolute goodness and beauty, which have their ultimate source in God. Recorded live at the Shrine of the Most Blessed Sacrament in Hansville, Alabama, Christmas with the Nuns helps us meditate on the beautiful mysteries of Christmas. Featuring the poor Clares of perpetual adoration, it includes favorites such as O Holy Night, The Coventry Carol, Sleep Holy Babe, Silent Night, and more. It comes on one disc with a total running time of one hour. The collection is available as a DVD or as a CD. When we send Christmas cards to our friends and family, we help them remember the story of Christmas. Here are three pretty Christmas cards. Each box contains 16 cards and 17 pattern gold foil lined envelopes. Cards are printed on heavy card stock and feature embossed details with a printed sentiment and verse from scripture printed on the inside. The inside message in this Holy Family card set reads, May you have a blessed Christmas and a happy new year. And the scripture verse, The child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. From Luke chapter 1 verse 35. And here we have Christmas blessings. The sentiment reads, May the Christmas star enlighten every path. Its gentle beams shine always in our hearts. And the printed scripture verse from Matthew chapter 2, verse 2, reads, For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. And this one, called Joy, features music on the front with the inscription, Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her king. May the wonder of his love fill your heart. And the scripture verse, I am bringing you good news of great joy from Luke chapter 2, verse 10. Another way we can help others remember the true meaning of Christmas is by wrapping our gifts in religious-themed paper. Our Lord is referred to by many names, and this inspirational Names of Jesus wrapping paper lists many of these names, such as Prince of Peace, Holy One of Israel, Redeemer and Lord of all in gold and dark red print on a red background. It is available as a gift bag or as a roll that measures 24 inches wide by 25 feet. And finally, if you like Charles Dickens' book, A Christmas Carol, this Christmas greetings wrapping paper is for you. It is designed with beautiful images of Victorian style Christmas greeting cards. The roll measures 24 inches wide and 25 feet long. Now here's Doug to tell you how to order any of these items to help you prepare for Advent and Christmas. Thanks, Barbara. Now here's a look at the items that Mother has spoken about on this program. Now the first of our holy reminders that Mother Angelica showed us was the God Bless Our Home framed artwork, framed under glass, priced at $28, item number 96488, God Bless Our Home framed artwork. Next up for Mother was the St. Benedict Door Seal, very popular, priced at $60, B224 is its item number, made of pewter, the St. Benedict Door Seal. In that same vein, we have the St. Benedict Wall Crucifix Mother showed us, priced at $36, measuring eight inches, item number 42499, the St. Benedict Wall Crucifix. There's also the St. Benedict Crucifix on stand. Its item number is 84S, priced at $36, made of stained oak, the St. Benedict 
crucifix on stand. Moving ahead, we have the Good Shepherd Nightlight that Mother showed us, priced at $22, made of porcelain. Item number N19, N19 for the Good Shepherd Nightlight. And closing things out from Mother Angelica on this program is the Angel at Ridge Nightlight, likewise made of porcelain, priced at $27. And this one is NC39 for the Angel at Ridge Nightlight. Now moving on to the items that Barbara has spoken about in this program. First up from Barbara is the Wood Look 8-Piece Nativity, made of resin, priced at $155. Item number is 23951 for the Wood Look 8-Piece Nativity. Next is the Fontanini Nativity set that Barbara presented, 10-piece set, priced at $170. Item number 50493 for the Fontanini Nativity set. Likewise, we have a flat nativity three-piece set priced at $50. Item number is 37418 for the flat nativity three-piece set. Next up, we have resin ornaments that measure three and a half inches to four inches and look like rustic wood carvings, each priced at $6.50. The first one is the cross-carved ornament. 3777C for the cross carved ornament. There's also the dove carved ornament, which is 3777D. This is the dove. Next we have the heart, 3777H for heart, the heart carved ornament. Or there is the star carved ornament, 3777S, each individually priced at $6.50. Next up, we have the Old World Nativity, the 1,000-piece puzzle, priced at $16. Item number is 48702 for the Old World Nativity 1,000-piece puzzle. Moving ahead, we have Advent and Christmas with Fulton J. Sheen, edited and compiled by Judy Bauer, priced at $11. Item number is 27790 for Advent and Christmas with Fulton J. Sheen. There's also Advent and Christmas with St. Thomas Aquinas, compiled by Andrew Carl Wisdom, priced at $11 as well. Its item number is 18196, and this is Advent and Christmas with St. Thomas Aquinas. Next up, we have the Best Loved Christmas Carols. This is the boxed set, priced at $30. Item number is 4601. Richly illustrated book put together by Ronald Clancy. It's the Best Love Christmas Carols, the box set, as featured on EWTN's bookmark. Next up, a Night to Remember CD featuring traditional hymns. CD 687, priced at $16. Sung by Marianne LaHood, featured on EWTN's Knights of St. Michael. A Night to Remember CD, traditional hymns. Next, we have Christmas with the Nuns, very popular CD and DVD, you have your choice, recorded live at the Shrine of the Most Blessed Sacrament in Hansville, Alabama, with our nuns, each priced at $15. There's the DVD, HDCWN, that's the DVD, and the CD is HCCWN, available in both of those formats. Next up, we have some Christmas cards that come with 16 cards and 17 envelopes. Each set is priced at $16. The Holy Family box cards are R2042, the Holy Family cards. The Christmas Blessings boxed Christmas cards are R2043, that's for Christmas Blessings. For the Joy boxed Christmas cards, it's R2044, each individually priced at $16 for each set, plus shipping and handling. Next up, we have the Names of Jesus wrapping paper, priced at $12. The roll measures 24 inches wide by 25 feet. Item number C2503, Names of Jesus wrapping paper. Next, we have the Names of Jesus gift bag with gold tissue, priced at $4. Item number C2507, this is the Names of Jesus gift bag with gold tissue. And closing things out for this program, we have the Christmas Greetings gift wrap from Barbara. Priced at $12, C2506 is its item number for the Christmas Greetings gift wrap. 
So if you'd like to order any of these items, just give us a call 24 hours a day at our toll-free number, which is 1-800-854-6316, or log on to our website, www.ewtnreligiouscatalog.com, to see all of the items featured on this particular program and the many other items featured on our wonderful website. And you can order using Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and or American Express. And now with some closing thoughts and comments, here is our own Mother Angelica. That's what we wanted to show you. So tell your friends you're going to have a brand new show next week. And, and this is going to air, I think it's four times. So this is a time now, if you're going to order for Christmas, you know how slow the mail gets when they're piled up. So order as fast as you can, and we'll get it out as fast as we can. And so we just want you to know we're grateful and uh, hang in there. But no matter what happened, know Jesus loves you and Jesus cares. Thank you.